You know, when I was a kid growing up in Pennsylvania, I used to love collecting rocks. And one of the rocks that is indigenous to PA is called magnetite. Magnetite is a magnet in its raw form. So my idea is to magnetize this paper clip and use it as a makeshift compass. This may take me a while, but I've just got to find it. All right, I think I might have a couple of little contestants here. Boom, right there. That's what I'm looking for. That's magnetite. So all I did is punch the two holes, ran the vine through this side and out the other. That's stage one. The next thing I'm gonna do is get a piece of thread off of my shirt, and what I'm gonna do is take that paper clip, stroke it about 40 times in one direction with the magnetite, hang it on the end of it, then hang it inside my piece of bamboo, and that's gonna be my compass. The main reason for this is to give me a north-south heading. So Cody and I do not head back to the coast. It's to get us out of here in one direction, and this is gonna work perfect. When a magnetized piece of metal is able to rotate freely, it will align with the Earth's magnetic field and indicate a north-south reading. All right, that should be enough. I've stroked this a good 40, 50 times. The next thing I'm gonna do is tie that thread off my shirt to the center of this vine. You know, while I'm working right now, I can tell my hands are shaking and that's a sign of dehydration. And there we go. No matter which way I turn, the needle is always going back, pointing this way. So this is the north-south axis right here. What's really cool about what I'm holding in my hand right now is actually history. It goes back to the time of Christ. People navigated for over a 1,000 years using magnetite to make compasses just like this.